So it's Monday the 12th, 12th is it? Eight. Yeah, of January, February, February. I want to say April. <gasps> the little fuckers run mud in. I can't believe she's just done that. You better not go up my stairs. Where are you? Get your bum here. Ooh, be careful. I don't want to run up my stairs because I've cleaned them four times. I don't want to clean them again. I'll just take my coat off. Oh, God. It is chilly. I'm not super cold because I've not really had anything to eat today, so my body temperature's higher to compensate eat your dinner. She's on the first day of eating normal food. Last night, because I've been feeding her on chicken and rice, last night I gave her chicken and rice. She ate the chicken and left the rice, which is still there. Isn't it? You ain't having anything else, you fatty. Yeah. So I gave her some dog food this morning. Normal one, she wolfed it down, left the rice. The rice is staying there. I will eventually move it. I've been to M&S. I went to eat my lunch at the office, but I basically got kicked out. So I was like, right, thanks for using me to bring you lunch. I could have gone straight home, but oh no. You use me and then send me, like say a client's coming when you knew I was coming. He's just you using my dad. He uses me and I'm getting pretty sick of it. And he tells me not to tell anyone some of the things that he does. Like this morning, I woke up to the strong, strong, strong smell of gas. Not just a little bit. Like, my head was pounding and I felt like I was going to be sick. And at first it didn't click in my head what the smell was. And then it clicked. I'd come down here and the gas ring was fully on. Like that. Hold on, I'll do that. Can you hear that? The, cup, the kettle's just turned itself on randomly. And the house was just so heavily coated or whatever word you want to use with smoke, not smoke, gas. It was gone. Even that, for that short bit of time, it's quite heavy. And I had to open up windows and doors and it took over an hour. And then I hadn't done my floor. So when I went up, the smell was still there over an hour later. I had to open my window. And he's like, oh, it's an accident. I went, this is not the first time you're worrying me because it's going to end up killing one of us or all of us at some point. He doesn't think it's that dangerous. I got something from QVC. QVC. I just saw an Instagram ad because Instagram ads seem to, well, Instagram ads do actually work because the amount of things I've bought because of Instagram ads. You wouldn't believe. And there's a new mascara out. Oh, I smell is fish, but then again, I've had sushi. There's a lot of tissue paper for one item. And I wanted it. And it was just under £17 on QVC with postage. Everywhere else, Boots is £20.50, everywhere else is £21.50. So I got this for £17, including postage. It was £16, summit, but it was practically £17. I got this in Tesco as well. I went to M&S first, went to Tesco and then went to office. So I shouldn't have bothered. I shouldn't have even bothered getting him a sandwich. He just uses me. Like, it's constant use. Me. Like last Monday, I had several appointments including her and lashes and another appointment then doctors and then I didn't get home until quarter past six. Yet my dad expected me at some point during all that when I didn't even have two minutes to myself to take him a sandwich. I don't know where or when he thought I could do that. Because the only time I would have possibly been able to do it is if I'd left the house at half eleven instead of quarter past twelve. Gone and got it, come back up the motorway and took it to him then. But that's not really fair on me. So I didn't and he come home and moaned at me last Monday night. Because he had expected a sandwich and I said to him, I'm really busy all day today. Um... I'm possibly not going to get to the office basically saying go go get your own sandwich basically but he came home and moaned at me because there was no sandwich but 
there was absolutely no chance. Like, I left my hairdressers at 20 to 3. I had a 3 o'clock appointment. 8 miles away? Is it 8? It's 6, six miles away or something. But I had school time travel to contend with the parents going to school. That's the sort of time they go to school to pick the children up. So I had to contend with that. I got, like, I don't even know how I managed to do it. Like, in my head, I was trying to work out which way to go because I thought I was going to go all the way down the motorway, get up at this junction here and drive through the town that way. But that's quite a long way around. So I ended up not even going on the motorway and, like, driving through the other town and it got me there quicker whereas if I'd come up here and gone that way I would have been 10-15 minutes late so luckily in my head I kept thinking which way do I go and then I worked it out because there were are various ways to go but the way I eventually decided on was it turned out to be the quickest way because I pulled up four minutes early or was it five five minutes early and it was like a minute and a half walk down to where it were from from where I was parked and in that time I had to put foundation on here and here and down here because I've got my hair washed and it always comes off down there and sometimes down my neck if they get water down my neck so I had to do foundation all the way down there, the the then concealer then powder then I had to put a quick coat of mascara on and rush down to my appointment luckily she didn't rub my brows off otherwise I would never have buddy I'd got there on time and then I was like a minute late for my appointment and then I was in there for an hour and then I went to Asda and then to my doctor's and I was about 20 minutes away from my doctor's so he thought in that time I could take him a sandwich yet it would take me at least 20 minutes to get there and at least 20 minutes to get back so I didn't so then I saw my doctor I was in there for just over half an hour with her I left and I didn't get home till quarter past six so I don't know in what time or space he thought I would get him a bloody sandwich I don't know but you know, he's a little bit out of order. He's got loads of snacks in his drawer anyway. He's got loads of crisps and chocolate. So we could have just munched on that. Good girl. Still not eating the rice. I'm going to have to bin it. I'm being careful. I'm going to give her a normal food today and see what happens. I don't want her to keep me up numerous times at night she didn't get me up once last night but then I again I didn't go to bed till 3 30 so she got out then and then um, I don't know what time my dad let her out this morning but it was like half nine so there was a six hour gap and she didn't do anything so I've been M&S Tesco I've got a beauty box unboxing so I was I actually forgot to give him one of the things I got him. I got him a jam donut to go with his sandwich, but he can have that. When he comes home, I had a C double O K I E. It used to be her name before I got her, so I'm not saying it. I was hungry. I hadn't I'd skipped breakfast and stuff, which you shouldn't do. All I had was a graze protein bar bite. That's all I'd had. And then I had a sausage roll outside MS. So I picked up a new pair of slippers today because you've probably just seen the thing. When my bathroom flooded last Sunday, I was stood in there when it happened and my slippers, which I adore and love, which you'll know if you watch this channel, I only just got on before Christmas. The last pair lasted me four months. I got them and they've lasted me six weeks. I had to bin them because sewage came up and I weren't keeping them. So they've stopped doing them, which I'm really, really disappointed about. They were super comfy, but this was the only real option because I wanted a hard base rather than a soft base because of the stuff that goes on in this house with people spilling things. So I'm hoping they're comfy. They feel quite tight to put my hands through, but we'll see. I just like them. I don't like the soles because they're completely flat. The other ones, like, had... They were more built up, they were thicker, but we'll see. I just like them because they were pink. And they were new out because they, they hadn't, the barcode wouldn't work and he had to put the barcode in and it wouldn't work and he had to just put, it was an £8 product on the thing. So he said they're obviously new out, they're not even in the system yet. I, oh God, I'm going to finish this video here and start another one because as you know, I don't like to go over 10 minutes and I've got video scheduled to the 7th of March as in daily ones the weekly ones I've only got today and Thursday 
I need, I was meant to take the camera out with me today and yet again I forgot because I need to get enough footage so I can start putting on the computer on Wednesday so I'll probably film a video later so I'll be back tomorrow.